Hey there, Matt with Phi, and you're in the boardroom. This week, we're taking a look at Nordic Semiconductor's 51822 Beacon. This little module, I got it this week, and it left me with some questions. I have to say, for Nordic, eh, you know, it could have been better. First of all, I'm a huge Nordic Semiconductor fan, so maybe the bar is really high. I've used the 51822, which is an integrated BLE transceiver plus Cortex-M0 processor, uh, in probably a dozen different designs over the course of the last 12 months. And absolutely love the device, super versatile, and pretty cheap at between two and three bucks a piece. It's, it's pretty cost effective to use in just about any application. Kind of makes you wonder why you're not adding wireless to more designs. The board, however, left a lot to be desired. First of all, the Beacon didn't come cheap. The price range is between about 30 and 40 bucks. I spent 32 bucks on DigiKey. I, thought, I saw it go up as high as 39 bucks. So it's pretty expensive. And for what it is, there's just not a whole heck of a lot in this little beacon. Now, mind you, it's a BLE beacon. But from a development board standpoint, for a $32 development board, it felt like there could be either a lot more or it could be a lot cheaper. Still, let's take a look at the board here. So this is the board itself. You'll see here, this is where the transceiver is. And interestingly enough, the transceiver's got some epoxy around it, which kind of blew me away because the video on the Nordic site didn't show any epoxy around the chip, and quite candidly, I'm not gonna rip a chip off of a $32 development board not to get access to a $3 part, right? So it's got a PCB antenna, which arcs across the top over here, and like all Nordic reference designs, they're accessible. You can download them, you can print them out, you can get some measurements off of them. For this reason, I'm a huge fan of Nordic because the quality of resources that they provide is really, really good. Um, here I've got the programming interface, and this too was a huge disappointment. When I watched the video on the Nordic website, the video showed this with a programming header on it, and when I got the board, it's just some surface mount pads. So I'm gonna have to scrape off the ends of some enameled wire, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and solder those on there, and then I'm gonna have to extend that out into something that's wide enough that then I can actually connect it into some header pins, and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into a programmer and be able to program the device. I mean, in terms of out-of-the-box functionality, this was, left me wanting, right? Um, it does come with a coin cell battery. I guess there's you know some cost wrapped up in that. Um, the board doesn't have a whole lot of resources on it, but then again, it's a BLE beacon. It's got two push buttons on it. Okay, uh, it's got a tricolor LED. I guess that's the, uh, the poor man's optical interface maybe. Um, and that's about it. On the bottom side, all you have is the coin cell battery holder. So there's just not a whole lot on this board. That left me with a theory, and the theory is that Nordic is putting out this reference design and pricing it at a point in which they're not going to compete with anybody else who might want to use it to go ahead and build BLE beacons and then make a business off of selling those development boards or selling that hardware. So I think, you know, as far as Nordic is concerned, there's a strategy in there somewhere, at least I hope so, because they're super smart guys. Um, again, love the Nordic devices. Uh, if you're interested in BLE, take a look at Nordic Semiconductor's 51822. It's a cool device. Uh, if you're interested in simple RF systems, let me also suggest that you take a look at Johansson. Johansson makes a series of balance, precision capacitors, that sort of thing. They also have great reference designs for this chip. So between Nordic Semiconductor and Johansson, you put those two things together and you can almost get BLE into a system with very limited understanding of RF. Uh, that said, 51822 Beacon. Leave us some notes in the comments. Let us know what you think.